battle in the middle of an Oak Lawn neighborhood caught on camera, and some of those bullets blasted into a little girl's nursery. Yona Gavino talked to the family. She is live in Dallas with what they had to say. Yona? Incredibly, no one was hurt. That gun battle actually happened right behind me here in this street, and I talked to the homeowners. They counted over 40 shots ring out. If you look in here, you really see. Just feet away from the bullet holes is the bed where Sharman and Nam's daughter narrowly missed a hail of gunfire. We heard a couple of shots, and we thought, oh, it's so close to July 4th. You know, it's probably people just playing around with fireworks. Didn't think much of it, but then it got louder and closer. Marks of the gun battle are clearly visible. Three bullets flew past their daughter, who was asleep, until. Charmin says her daughter started screaming. She woke up and like put, covered her ears and said, too loud, it's too loud. It played out like a terrifying movie in real time. I looked up on the camera um, and saw, you know, a car in the middle of the street kind of sideways and like guys jumping out and like guys shooting. Honestly, I didn't believe my eyes. It seemed kind of surreal. The surveillance video shows flashes of gunfire coming from one vehicle after the other car hits a curb and stops. Two people duck behind the car and then run away. That video was definitely shocking uh, to see. Lee Doherty of Take Back Oak Lawn says the shootout is frustrating to watch. It's unfortunate that, um, you know, people are um, obviously disrespecting neighborhoods, uh, putting uh, people's lives in danger. He's encouraging residents to stay connected and stay vigilant. Get to know your neighbors and, um, you know, work together to build a safer place. Dallas police tell me so far they are investing and around the neighborhood to check in neighbor security cameras as well. But so far, no description of the suspects and no arrests. Live in Dallas, Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News.